Middle Academy Scholars. This is Mrs. Isles again from the Music Room. Welcome to week one, day two of our online music video classes. If you haven't yet watched week one, day one, go back and find that because one of the things that we're going to do right away uh, is something that we learned last time. Every day before we start, I will give us a little agenda of the things that we will be able to do by the end of class today. And a quick reminder that every grade level has its own color that they can use just to check in to make sure they are in the right spot. So if you're a fifth grader, you're red. If you're a sixth grader, you are brown or tan. If you're a seventh grader, you are black. Uh, today it says, Middle Academy students will be able to review and sing our welcome song and our star song. We will sing new vocal warm-ups and we will practice our train exit. So that's our plan for the day. Up on the whiteboard behind me, I have the words to our welcome song. We will sing this every day or every, with every video that we do to start off just to get our voices ready to sing. So let's just quickly review the words. Singing all together, singing with delight, scholars here together, future's looking bright. Everybody singing a song, everybody singing a song. Everybody sing all day long. Everybody sing all day long. So I'm gonna grab my trusty guitar here and we're gonna go through that song. It starts with an intro. So I'm guessing that maybe by November or so, we'll have that down pretty well. After we sing the welcome song every day, we'll always sing our star song that just helps us know what our voices and our bodies should be doing to get ready for music class. It's the easiest song in the world, so I gotta do is copy. It goes like this. We are singing, tracking the talker, it's crisscross applesauce. Hands in our lap, voices up. There we go. Okay, before we get into the main part of our lesson today, I just thought we'd practice one skill today. I'm going to use my guitar to do that. And that is just checking to see if we can hear the difference between high and low. Now this is something I would usually do with elementary academy students, but because I'm new to Prodeo and I haven't seen you as elementary school students, I just thought we'd do a quick check-in. Um, this is just something you can think of in your head like, yes, did I know that? Or no, is that something I still need to work on? Um, so it's just, can you tell the difference between a high sound and a low sound? So I'm just gonna play three different sounds on Desi, my guitar. And I just want you to think to yourself, is this a high sound or is this a low sound? Okay, here's the first one. High sound or low sound? That's a high sound. Okay, here's another one. That's a low sound. And here's one more. also a high sound. Um, so for some of you, you might think Mrs. Isles is really simple, and that's okay. Uh, it's just a quick review from something that we hopefully learned when we were, you know, a little bit younger. Okay, we're going to move on to the next part of our activity, which is vocal warm-ups. Um, just like if you're an athlete, you might go and, you know, do some stretches or, or do a quick jog before doing a big run or something like that. Um, you have to warm your bodies up. Now, that's because you don't want to stretch a muscle. Your voice is also a muscle, 
So we do vocal warm-ups to get our voices ready to sing. There's a lot of different vocal warm-ups out there, but I have nine that I use very often, so I thought that today we would go through the nine vocal warm-ups that I do most often with students, because we will do this throughout the year, and if you know, you're know you a fifth, sixth, seventh grader, we will be doing it next year too. So we're just gonna start at the bottom and work our way down. Uh, some of these, you're gonna have to just listen and use your ears to know what to do. And for some of them, I've written the words down on whiteboards to help us know what to say. Uh, the first one on our list is called roller coasters. Pardon me. Uh, when you do roller coasters, some of you might feel kind of silly doing it, uh, but that's okay. To do roller coasters, I always start by kind of just tracing circles kind of around my ears, just focusing on my breath for a second. The purpose of roller coasters is to stretch your voice as high and as low as you can. So with the motion of my hands in a circle, I'm going to kind of almost do a circle with my voice. It sounds something like this. Woo! Woo! We do three levels of that. The first level is just kind of there. It's kind of in the middle of where my voice sings. Then the second one will go woo! A little bit higher. And then the third one is going to go as high as my voice can go. Woo! After I do those three levels, notice how my hands got higher, especially with the third one. Then I drop down, let my arms hang, and I make the lowest sound that I can. So I'm gonna do this by myself and then I hope you're participating at home and you try this at home with me. All right, here I go. Okay, so that's a roller coaster. Uh, if you make a mistake, make it big. It's okay to feel silly. It's okay to feel kind of weird, um, but you'll have more fun if you participate. So try it with me at home, here we go. Okay, that's our roller coasters. Uh, the second one is called scales. I brought in my keyboard from home. That's this thing that's kind of blocking me a little bit. Uh, we can do scales in two different ways. The first way is with syllables. That would be a, a, e, o, or u sounds. Or can we do it with lip buzzes, which is like that. Uh, we're going to do it with syllables to start, um, and we're just going to do it on an ah sound. Scales would sound something like this. Okay. Our voice kind of slides up and then slides back down. If we were to say do it on an sound it would be when we do especially scales and a couple of the other ones it's important to have a lot of space in your mouth we don't want to go we want to separate the teeth in the back of your mouth um, we can go high when we do scales or we can go low uh, to start because it's the very beginning we're gonna start by going low um, so I want you to try it with me. We're going to do it on an ah uh, sound. So get your ah uh, nice and big. And we're going to just do scales and sing as low as we can. Here we go. Uh, uh, Same 
makes my nose itchy when I do it. Um, so that's what scales are. <clears throat> the next one's called kuya. Um, when we did scales, like I said, our voice just kind of slid from note to note. When we do kuya, our voice does a jump. To sing kuya, uh, you just do the words kuya, 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 ah, ah, ah. Kuya, 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 ah, ah, ah. That sounds like this. <clears throat> Kuya, kuya, kuya. Kuya, kuya, kuya. And as we do that, we go higher and lower. So I want you to do that with me at home. Get your kuyas ready. Kuya. Open your mouth nice and wide. Here we go. Kuya, kuya, kuya. Taco Bell, so I hope that you're a Taco Bell fan. Uh, and every time we do it, we do it a little bit faster. <clears throat> so copy me. Hey burrito. staccato and marcato those are called articulation markings in music and what that basically means is kind of the style with which we sing it so legato means very smooth and kind of calm staccato means short and snappy and marcato means very strong and accented um, for these ones I did write the words down so we're going to review those really quick here's legato the words are sing legato ah oh flowing from note to note. Sing legato, ah, oh, smoothly. Okay, I'll give you a second to read that. If you need to pause the video, and just read that a couple times on your own. That is fine. Okay, here's what legato sounds like. Sing legato, vocal warm-up. Staccato is short and snappy. Staccato is short as notes can be. I'll give you a second to read that. You can pause your video if you need to.
when you sing staccato, I always think of the word separated. You put a little space, like a, almost a breath in between each sound you make. Staccato is short and snappy. Staccato is short as notes can be. Okay, that's staccato. Uh, the next one is called marcato, and it sounds almost exactly the same um, melody-wise, the tune that you sing, as staccato does. But marcato is different. The words to this one are, marcato is strong with a -a -a accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. I'll give you a second to read that. Okay, when we sing this, we don't separate it at all. We sing with full value. That means all of our notes are really long. We sing loud and with accents means you put kind of a little bit of weight on the beginning of each note. It sounds like this. Marcato is strong with accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. If you can do a little bit of vibrato that kind of shakiness, tremor in your voice, this is a great time to bust that out. Uh, let's try it. Here we go. Marcato is strong with accents. We sing with strength and deep tone. All right, we got two more left. Uh, this one's kind of fun. It's what's called picking up a pepperoni pizza. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. Need to pause the video and review those words, you may. I'll give you a second. Here's how this one sounds. This one's kind of fun to do. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. When we sing this one, we usually do it at different tempo markings. That means at different speeds, kind of like we did with Hey Burrito. Um, so it might get to the part where we go like this. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. Uh, maybe even faster than that if we're really good at tongue twisters. Uh, let's try it all together just at our normal speed. Here we go. Picking up a pepperoni pizza, lots of mozzarella and lots of pizza. I love a pizza pie, big a bite of pizza, me oh my. There's that one. Uh, that time I stopped playing the piano uh, for two reasons. I haven't played that all summer and I messed up, but uh, and that's okay, we all make mistakes, no big deal. But the second reason is because I thought, oh, this is a great chance for us to sing a cappella. A cappella means that you don't have any instruments behind you, it's just your voice doing it. Uh, the last one is called One Bottle of Pop. Uh, I like this one because it helps us with our enunciation. Enunciation is the crispness of your vowels. So instead of one bottle of pop, like some of you might say if you're a true Minnesotan, um, uh, the real way we should say this if we are enunciating is one bottle of pop. So we want to make those T's sound out in the, in the word bottle and pop, putting a strong P sound at the end. Um, this one's kind of long. It's kind of like three songs in one. Uh, so let's focus on one piece at a time. Some of my writing came off here. Um, it's really easy when you do this to spit, so maybe have a tissue nearby if you need to wipe off your computer screen. Okay, so the first part of the song is pretty easy. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven bottles of pop. And it's pretty easy, so like this. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven bottles of pop, pop. Okay, let's just sing that much with me. Here we go. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, 
four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven bottles of pop. Uh, the next part starts with the word pop. Pop. Now this part of the song is kind of completely different. It sounds like this. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard. Throw. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My backyard's full. When you say don't, get that T in there. When you say junk, get that K in there. Backyard. Enunciate all your sounds. Let's sing this part. Pop. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My backyard. My backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. of the song is also completely different. It's kind of hard to read because my writing came off. It's fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, pop. Sounds like this. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, pop. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar. Pop. Okay, so then we put all three pieces together. I'm gonna do my best to switch from one board to the next so you can see what's coming. Apologies if I don't go very fast. I got them all set up here. Okay. This one's pretty fun once we get it down. It might be kind of rough today, and that's okay. We're just going to do our best. Start at one bottle of pop. Ready, here we go. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven bottles of pop. Pause. Pop. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your junk to remind us of the words, just do your best. If you make a mistake, that's okay. No big deal. One bottle of pop. Ready, go. One bottle of pop. Two bottles of pop. Three bottles of pop. Four bottles of pop. Five bottles of pop. Six bottles of pop. Seven bottles of pop. Pop. Don't throw your junk. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My backyard. My backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My backyard. It's full of fish and chips. often there's a whole bunch more that I might just pepper in throughout the day um, as we go through different songs the main reason we do these like I said at the beginning is to get your voices ready uh, to sing um, and usually what we do is maybe we pick out one or two to sing before we do some kind of big song so I know in a future video we're going to be going through a song called Haida uh, which is an Israeli folk song um, and that's a very marcato song, so we might do marcato that day. And it's got a bunch of jumps in it, so we might do kuya. Um, but it's kind of an upbeat, kind of fun song, so we might do picking up a pepperoni pizza. I don't know, I kind of try to pick ones that are similar to the song, uh, that kind of match something in the vocal warm-up. Uh, so those are our vocal warm-ups. We're gonna use those a lot throughout the year. They're kind of fun. The last thing that we're gonna do today it's what I call our train exit. I'm gonna scoot a little closer here. Um, our train exit is what we're gonna use to end all of our videos or end music class every day. Uh, what I have here is a very simple version of what's called music notation, which is the way that we read music. Just like you read books 
and you had to learn your letters piece by piece, it's kind of the same thing with reading music. Um, so we're just going to go line by line. I'm going to show you what each of these kind of sound like. Uh, we'll get more in depth with it, especially when we get back on campus. Um, but then we'll just go through it a few times. Um, so the first thing you'll see is just a straight line up and down. Um, and a, as a very simple way of saying it, we'll just say that this is kind of a medium long sound. So when we see it, we're going to make a ch sound today. So we're just going to go ch whenever we see that. So there's four in a row. So to do this top line, we go ch, 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 ch. In the next line, there's two vertical lines and one horizontal line. Those go faster. Ch, ch. So we have four in a row. Ch, 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 ch. The third line looks exactly the same as the first line. So we do it the exact same. Ch, 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 ch. Then at the very bottom, there's kind of a, a long oval. This is a very long sound. So when we do it for our train exit, we're just going to get rid of all the air in our lungs. However long that might be for you. So if I put it all together by myself, here's what it sounds like. I do it right I should be able to do all of that in one breath so before we do it I'll say something like all right middle Academy breathe with me and we'll breathe in as I put up four fingers so with adding that in it looks like this Okay, hey, last time through, now I want you to do it with me. Uh, you might be able to hold that long sound longer than I even can. That's a cool challenge for you to do. Okay, so we start at the beginning. Breathe with me, Middle Academy. Here we go. There you go, that's our train exit. All right, I hope you participated along with me. We're, we learned some vocal warm ups that we're gonna review next time. I hope you have a wonderful start to the school year and have a happy, magical, musical day. Take care, everybody.